knows what other kind of berries they have. We're heading towards a place called Capilano, which is actually a popular touristy spot. They have a suspension bridge there, so it's known for the Capilano suspension bridge. It's expensive, it's like 30 bucks to get in there, but we're not doing the suspension bridge today. We're looking for a spot called Granny's Cove, another epic cliff jumping spot here in Vancouver. I'm a little banged up and sore from yesterday. Made some bad landings on some jumps in Lynn Canyon and down in uh, Lion's Head, but it was still a great day. Late night, we left Lion's Bay at like almost 10 o'clock at night and it was still bright out, so that was crazy. So we're seeing a lot more of these berries that we saw yesterday in Ling Canyon and uh, found out they're called salmon berries. So they can be kind of like golden, yellow, or red and they're pretty good. We're trying to find this uh, Granny's Cove and all we keep finding are berries. We found some some blueberries, wild blueberries now, um, right after the salmon berries. So, Capilano, good place for berry foraging to fuel you up with enough energy to look for the cliff jumping spot. Some beautiful cliffs around here. We haven't seen too many pools that are deep enough to jump yet, so we're going to keep pressing on. Still on the hunt for Granny's Cove out here in Capilano. This place is absolutely beautiful. I don't know why you would want to go to the suspension bridge where there's hordes of people and you have to pay 30 bucks. Parking up here is free. A few fishermen on the trail, a couple people enjoying a little walk, but other than that, there's not many people out here at all. So good spot to get some vitamin G, some vitamin green. Everything's really green and lush and ferns and moss. I think I just heard actually a big splash down there by the river. So we may be close to a spot. I don't know if it's Granny's Cove, but hot on the trail. Big splash. Either somebody fell in or somebody jumped in. So that's a good sign. It's like jumping into an ice cube. So Granny's Cove, this place has a much more peaceful laid back vibe than Lynn Canyon which we were at yesterday. Some nice jumps, the biggest one we did was like 30-35 feet. There was a rope swing but the rope seemed a little sketchy, the tree it was tied to looked kind of dead or not that sturdy so we didn't do the rope swing but beautiful peaceful vibe out here. The water is a lot colder than Lynn Canyon so um, we're talking to this guy James we met. He was telling us maybe there was a reservoir release recently, so all that glacier water just freshly dispersed into the river here, and it was, it was like jumping into a block of ice. It was pretty cold. Beautiful, tranquil vibe here. You don't have to wait to jump. Like yesterday at Lynn Canyon, there was kind of like a log jam up at that 30-foot pool jump, so nobody else is here. There was a few kids jumping earlier with their parents. The guy James we met was jumping, but right now, nobody's here tranquil spot to just relax on these rocks and warm back up after we uh, jumped into that icy cold water. So now we're going to head out. We're going to explore a little more Capilano. Maybe we'll come across some more berries to eat, whether it be salmon berries, blueberries, who knows what other kind of berries they have.
So on the way out, Capilano, uh, we found this other cliff, we're scoping it out, and we happen to be sitting here next to another wild blueberry bush and a salmonberry bush, both of them loaded down with berries. So I'm gonna have a little quick snack here while we depth check this other jump. Hmm. Capilano is like a paradise. You'd think you'd see a lot of bears here because there's a bunch of salmon in that river and all these berries everywhere. I'm surprised that we don't see more wildlife chowing down on nature's goodness here. Plenty of berries, it's amazing. So this spot was not on any of the maps that uh, we found about cliff jumping spots in Vancouver. This spot in Capilano, beautiful flowers all around, those blueberries and those berries that we're chowing down on. The deepest part is right at that point where we jumped from. It's halfway from the cable pool, between the cable pool and Granny's Cove. Halfway between those two, there's a little side trail to get down here and it's the water still freezing right now, but it was totally worth it. Beautiful mossy rock and, and flowers all around, so excellent hidden cliff jump spot here in Capilano. Beautiful day out here in Capilano. Amazing cliff jump spots, some serene spots by the river. Don't pay for that suspension bridge, okay? It's free and it's way better because you don't have hordes of people. Just a chill, relaxed environment. We found a ton of wild blueberries and wild salmon berries. Even if you're not into cliff jumping, some beautiful secluded spots. So it looks like some rain might be moving in. We're not exactly sure what we're gonna do next. Maybe head back to Lynn Canyon, maybe get some food. There's the slide, the famous Lynn Canyon slide or bum slide as the locals call it. The way it was explained to me was there's too much flow and the way to tell when there's an adequate low flow is you don't have this little stream coming off on the left hand side here. That the only water coming over will be in that main spot, that the slide area there. But it's a 30 foot drop. So once you come down that slide, there's a 30 foot drop and a lot of people get injured because when you come off the edge of that slide, it's hard to control your body position. So unfortunately, I really wanted to try it this trip, but it's not gonna happen, too much flow. The problem is with that concentrated flow right there, it can hold you down underwater, so not worth drowning over for sure. And what a difference a day makes. Yesterday, there was like 100 people here. Today, clouds rolled in, it's a little cooler. Absolutely empty. So how do you follow up cliff jumping in Capilano? You followed up with jumping in Lynn Canyon on a cloudier, colder day, but less people here. So I think now we're gonna go get showered up, get some food. I'll see you guys in the next video. Get out there, find your adventure, and be infamous.